there's something going on, whether it's the uh, ref, the refing in the Premier League is that the officiating is that bad. Yeah. Or because how VAR was supposed to solve these issues, dude. And all they all they want to do is look at centimeters of a damn offside line. Okay, so you I, just got fact. I want to move on <laughs> uh, to uh, the the Everton match against Brentford. Of course you do, because why, they, why do you even want to talk about this, bro? Because there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of controversy. Clearly, uh, if you saw this game. Everton lost three to two. This was Everton's opportunity to uh, guarantee safety in the Premier League. Tim, the one Dylan put, uh, which member of the Liverpool backline gives the best hugs? <laughs> That's important. I bet you it's Virgil van Dijk. Just get lost in those muscles. Right? <laughs> okay. I like this again. <laughs> Writing a romantic novel. N- nuzzle into that gap <laughs> between his chest and his arm. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, man. <laughs> just imagining the dad he never had and all the More experience. like the dad he had. <laughs> um, oh, okay, so there was a there was a red card in the 19th. Yeah, dude, your player shirt got pulled, and you want to use this platform to complain about it for the next 10 minutes. Go for it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's is, away. <laughs> kind of what we do here. I don't know. I, oh no, I'm giving you <laughs> I'm giving you full clearance to go for it. Um, but look, this is my favorite team, and we're trying to stay up, and you can't pull our shirts, bro. I hope our Arsenal lose today so badly. <laughs> okay. Enjoy Europa Conference League. Yeah, or we're going to be in Europa if we lose. We're not Conference League. Thank you very much. Okay. Virgil van Daddy said a nice goal, bro. <laughs> okay. Everton, they lose the game 3-2. to two. Uh, Brentford gets uh, two goals in the second half. They were up 2-1, right? But this is the, the red card in the 19th minute. How many red cards has Everton gotten in the last few weeks? Quite a bit. So, I mean, it, it, this season, it's... it's uh, so, Jared Branthwaite, the the really you he's know, out substitute. for the season now right because that was straight out for the season I, not that we we didn't really need him uh, <laughs> and he I guess you knew that <laughs> uh, he was like alright then peace but he gets he se- pulled the Ten Hag you heard Ten Hag left his contract six uh, days early uh, no I didn't hear he that. was like peace okay <laughs> uh, you, did you see the photo of him with all the trophies no he took a very strange pose in a weird like just one of these. Hit him with a nude joint. <laughs> <laughs> I got, we're going to pull that up in a second, but go ahead. Okay. So, Bra- Braithwaite was like... Bran- uh, Braithwaite. Braithwaite was like, I don't, I don't need to be here. You don't want me here. Gets sent off. Obviously, Ivan Tony, uh, uh, you know, gets to, gets to run on him and uh, trips him up. It's a red card. It's obvious. But before that, it, it, we're looking at the photo right now. That part should have never happened because just before that, in the box... Richarlison mm. gets his shirt stretched <laughs> to the max. Bro. He it, turned one of your shirts into fitting uh, me. That's how much <laughs> this shit got stretched. He's like, right. He's like, I, I want to trade shirts, but I, I'm going to need an XL. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you're going to have to fix this. But no, as you can clearly see in the image, Richarlison is getting his shirt pulled. This is inside the box. He is He's trying to, the, the ball is coming to him. He's trying to control the ball. Uh, and this is what is happening. So he, he obviously miscontrols it because uh, the defender is... Uh, Holding on to all all the what is it cotton polyester whatever he got a fistful of it yeah 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 also do you think this happens to him because he kind of every time he gets touched he hits the ground and, and tries to get a penalty uh, do you think it's a little bit of that boy that cries wolf kind of a situation I don't I I don't think so I I so this is my interpretation of it is um you know because because VAR look VAR looked at the red card and VAR looked at this play and VAR looked at this VAR looked at this and VAR my man VAR yeah. <laughs> um said that uh, that if it was that that there wasn't enough evidence to to call it a clear and obvious error but if Michael Oliver, the center referee, called the penalty, there wasn't enough to overturn it. There wasn't it. enough to overturn it. So, basically saying it's kind of a penalty. I, I would have, right? Saying if if he called it, I wouldn't. I would have been like, you're right. It's a penalty. It's kind of like saying if the person who invented the the hamburger had called it a sandwich, we couldn't argue it's not. <laughs> but because you called it a burger, we will never call it a sandwich. Right. Right. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to explain this to the folks who may not immediately understand what Christian is talking about by using regular words. So I bring in a food, a food discussion. <laughs> um, but this is uh, pretty. See, Jamal said, yeah, Richarlison is a diver. You have to admit that, right? 
He's a little bit of a shit hauser. He does, but he does get fouled no, quite no, no, a no, bit. No, but no, he is, he is, that. yeah, yeah, he is. A little is, bit of a shit I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna. Okay, we're trying to stay up, bro. No, first of all, do your thing, Charles. He's like, hey, Papa, I see you. Have fun out there, okay? But but yes, get out there and trip around a little bit. That might be the case, but it doesn't. You know, this is. Do you think that works against him though in these situations? Yeah, of course. And I would say that about any player that that is so known for diving. Anthony Gordon dealing with the same exact thing. He's like deliberately been. He's not. He's doing. Uh, you know, liver puddly in diving. Uh, you know, at least for Charles is doing Brazilian diving. There's a little bit more, yeah, a little the, bit more he, hips to it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's doing. There's a je ne sais cachaça to it. <laughs> there is a. Uh, he's a thespian with yeah, it. Yeah. He has a little bit more training versus Gordon, who's like picking up someone's hand, <laughs> slapping himself in the face with it. <laughs> what are you? What are you hitting me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop hitting me, dude. He's like, I'm the official. Can you stop this? <laughs> so, um, so look, is it egregious? I, I don't think so, but I, I can. You know, you're not a fan of the team I could I could understand the complaint um the uh and Ice Cold Bruce said Richardson death practices some dark arts but this is a it's gotten to the point and, and you've you heard me hear this uh the, the, you know this Premier League season mm-hmm. I, I I've never been like they're out they're out for us they're coming they're they're out for the toffees the Premier League doesn't want us to succeed they want us to go down or whatever we're there now <laughs> but this but it's just the the the, the, the I can feel your tone online. It's compiling. You're like, this is ridiculous. It's compiling the these re- the the, the Manchester way, City handball, the Rodri handball that wasn't called. I agree with you because this has happened to Arsenal too. I think we're both <laughs> for the purpose of commercial. I don't know why I, I, this had. There's there's something going on. Whether it's the uh, ref, the refing in the Premier League is that the officiating is that bad? Yeah. Or because how VAR was supposed to solve these issues, dude. Right? And all they all they want to do is look at center meters of a damn offside line. They should have <laughs> just called it the offside system, <laughs> not VAR, because the video assistant referee y'all ain't doing none of those things. <laughs> because this is uh, so a lot of uh, you know Everton fans have been complaining about this, uh, specifically about they're calling this this gray area. Where how could the VAR say like if he would have called the penalty, I would have agreed. That's what you're here for. Oops. That's give the judges like, hey man, I don't know, dude. So to, for the VAR to say that it wasn't a clear enough uh, of an error to tell the referee that he, maybe he should look at this, but also think that if he called the penalty, he would have agreed with it, is it's that's the the super super frustrating part. Almost like why couldn't the the sent the, the VAR had some courage and just be like, yo, at least look, just look at it. Just say, like, I think this might have been a clear and obvious error. Especially given that it led to a red card. It all seems like political spin, you know? Like, oh, well, if you would have called it the other way, I wouldn't have been able to overturn it. That's like not saying yeah, like, no. Yeah, re- like not I mean? taking accountability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Big words. <laughs> but, uh, oh, nice cold Bruce said LMAO. Christian is fed up. He is done. You but are done with the, the, with the, the officiating. The red card to, to, to Alan on, on St. Ma- St. Maximum, which was like, yeah, it was a bad foul, but it wasn't like, uh, it, it wasn't wild. Like no, you received some wild red cards they, in this run. I, and, and then Solomon Rondon getting that red, like 100% deserved. It was just a ridiculous. A dumb. <laughs> and this is a guy that we like Four need. Four minutes in. We need for like these, they, we need, we don't even, <laughs> not only do we not have enough players because of injury, we don't even have like enough decent players that can just simply control the ball and just keep us in the Premier League. I want to remind everyone, they've spent half a billion dollars in Dude, five years. It is un... Solomon Rondon two-footed <laughs> a player <laughs> that was heading out of bounds. <laughs> it was, was no, four minutes in. Yeah. Four minutes into his sub. Didn't even need to. I had no... Yeah, obviously it wasn't necessary. He but just I, got in. He was frustrating. like, I ain't feeling it. I'm it's out. so frustrating because Everton wins that game. Everton wins that game if uh, they have 11 players. And then Christian Eriksen... Christian Eriksen, though. He th- he must have heard our podcast yeah. before because that it's dude... Like zombie? <laughs> I'm sure y'all... Dude went off, man. He, he was walking dead. <laughs> he was walking dead ass. <laughs> He uh, he had a great game and uh, yeah, just uh, super super frustrating. Uh, yeah, Everton now has another opportunity uh, on Thursday uh, against uh, Crystal Palace. Eagle Eye Football is here. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing Eagle Eye Football I show. Wait. On, I can't wait. On I can't wait to watch it. Shouts to Eagle Eye Football. <laughs> so uh, go check that out. 